Got a York unit, it's two years old. It's a three ton unit, 36,000 BTUs. And I'm gonna show you what a bad TXV looks like. You see how it's pumping into a vacuum? Zero PSI on the low side. High side is 225. Now I'm gonna add some refrigerant, show you what happens. Now I'm ready to add some refrigerant, check out the pressures, watch what happens. See the head pressure going up? Look at that, head pressure is over 250 now. Close it back. And it still goes back down. So this is closed shut. Now I've got another TXB right here. And this unit's only got one TXB on it because it is packaged gas. So, I'm going to replace it, and then we're going to take a look at the pressures. Got the connections off of the old TXV. I'm about to take it out, but first I've got to unbraze this uh, equalizer tube here that goes into the suction line. This compressor is super hot, so I may order the compressor and keep it in stock just in case it goes out, because of course, TXV being bad, you can have some issues with your compressor. It can cause a compressor failure. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this TXV in. A little bit of advice for screwing the new TXV connection onto this connection right here that connects to the distrib distribution tubes. This right here is aluminum and it can be stripped out very easily. So you turn it about a quarter turn past hand tight. I'll show you that. Also, you need to make sure that these Teflon rings are installed, okay? You can see how there's no Teflon ring right here. Whoop. Right there. I'm going to install it. There's one Teflon ring on this side, and then there's the other one. So, now we can install it. There's where the bulb for the TXV is mounted right there, and that is the outlet port for the evaporator see that so and that goes into the suction line of the compressor now I'm going to place the new equalizer tube into that line and braze it and I've got this right here hand tight I haven't tightened it yet I'm gonna just do a quarter uh, turn past hand tight half a turn at the most but usually quarter turn and be careful when you screw it on here because you can cross thread easily and these aluminum fittings are so easily damaged and then what do you have to do get a whole new evaporator and that would not be fun at all all right i got my setup torches nitrogen vacuum pump refrigerant got that little tube brazed in new TXVs connected got a little bit of nitrogen right now not too much about 200 psi and I'm gonna soap test these fittings, change the filter dryer, make sure you replace the filter dryer. Using some Pro Bubble here. And I think we're good. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Just make sure you don't over tighten that. Put it on the vacuum and then show you what it does. Here's the old TXV, there's the numbers. And I took the cap off. Hmm. There's the spring, and then there's the inside. Hmm, some discoloration, a little unusual. Got the vacuum pump going, taking my power from the unit. Anytime I do this, I have the power going to the unit, of course, disconnect plugged in, but I take off the 24 volts of the transformer and the coil of the contactor so that you know it doesn't energize any of the motors especially while it's in vacuum there's the new txv bulb mounted in place new filter dryer ready to add some refrigerant and start it up now look at the pressures 55 60 65 Okay, look at that, 65 and 225. Now let's add some more refrigerant, let's see what happens. 
The low side and the high side should go up. See, high side's going up. And low side's going up. All right, now I'm gonna get it dialed in. Adding some more refrigerant. Look at that head pressure going up. 250, we're almost there. Look at that. I'm gonna check superheat and subcooling if you don't know how. I'll put a video down below for you. Unit holds seven pounds. Wanna learn more about charging air conditioners or maybe about TXVs? Check out my playlist HVAC tips for technicians. Suction line temperature is 52. Saturation temperature is about 47. So we got about five degrees of superheat. High side pressure is 260. Low side pressure is 130. Pretty good. Check the liquid line temperature. Liquid line temperature is 77. Saturation temperature is about 87. So we got about 10 degrees of subcooling and that's really nice. Oh, nice little charging chart. Look at that. This valve that we replaced on that package unit is a non-adjustable TXV. How do we tell the difference between non-adjustable and adjustable? Well, you would have a stem below this bottom cap. This valve right here is a adjustable valve. And you can tell because you have a cap right here that covers this stem. And Sporlin makes a tool that you can use to adjust this, or you can use a service valve wrench, or what's known as a box, uh, box wrench or a box ratchet. So you would take this stem off, this stem cap off, and then if you want to uh, adjust the superheat, you can turn that stem clockwise and it will allow less refrigerant to pass into the evaporator and that's going to increase the superheat. And then if you want to do the opposite, you turn this stem uh, counterclockwise, it's gonna allow more refrigerant to pass to the evaporator and that is going to decrease the superheat. Most valves that you get from the factory are non-adjustable. You can actually get a kit to make this type of valve adjustable. Sporlin makes a kit, I'm pretty sure, and I'll try to post that in the link in the description if I can find it. But most valves are gonna be non-adjustable. Make sure you know the difference. Make sure you do not take the bottom cap off and try to adjust a non-adjustable TXV. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comments what it was. If you don't have a question, let me know who you are and where you're from. If you do have a question, questions can lead to more content. So definitely ask me the question down in the comments. Go check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. Go check out those videos that I dropped below for you to learn. And thank you so much for watching. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.